In this video, we are going to be talking about multiplying a two-digit number times a two-digit number. So, for example, 24 times 46. We have two digits times two digits. Now, our first step will be to multiply our ones place value number in the bottom number by both of the top numbers, but we do that one at a time. So let me explain that again. So we're going to go 6 times 4. And 6 times 4 is 24. So I put my 4 here and I carry my 2. Excellent. Now I'm going to multiply the 6 in my 1's place value on the bottom number times the 2 in the tens place value on the top number. 6 times 2 is 12, plus I add the 2 that I carried, which makes 14. Wonderful. That's the first step. Now, I am done with the 1's place value here, and now I'm moving over to a tens place value here. So what I'm going to do in my numbers down below is I'm going to put in a zero here in the ones because now we're working with tens and anything times ten always has one zero and that's why we put a zero right there alright so the first step just like with the ones place value the six I'm gonna multiply this four times this four and four times four is sixteen so I'm gonna put a six here and I'm going to carry my 1. Uh-oh, now it looks like I carried 12. I have to make sure that I get rid of this 2 because that was from before when we were working with the 1's place value. All right, now that I've done 4 times 4, now I'm going to multiply this 4 by this 2. And 4 times 2 is 8, plus the 1 gives me 9. And the last step will be to add this together. 4 plus 0 is 4. 4 plus 6 is 10. Carry my 1. 1 plus 1 plus 9 is 11. And there you have the answer. 24 times 46 is 1,104. Let's do another example together. Let's try this question. 36 times 27. All right, remember that you always start with the ones place value number on your bottom number. And I'm going to multiply it by the ones here. So I'm going to start by going 7 times 6. 7 times 6 is 42. So I put my 2 here and I carry my 4. And I put it above the next number. Now, I have to multiply this 7 times this 3. 7 times 3 is 21, plus the 4 makes 25. Excellent. Now that I'm done with my 7, my number 7, and my 1's place value, I can cross it out, and now I'm focused on the 2. But because I'm multiplying by the 10's place value, I am going to put a zero here in my ones because remember anything times ten always has a one zero in it and this two represents this two right here represents twenty so it's two in the tens place value which is like twenty and that's why we put a zero here alright so now I'm gonna go two times six I always multiply my number by the ones place value first. So 2 times 6 is 12. I'm going to put my 2 here and carry my 1. And I'm also going to get rid of that 4 because that was from before. Excellent. Now I'm going to multiply the 2 times the 3. 2 times 3 is 6 plus this 1 makes 7. And the last step will be to add this together. 
2 plus 0 is 2, 5 plus 2 is 7, 2 plus 7 is 9. And there you have it. 36 times 27 equals 972. Should we try one more example together? All right, let's do it. In this example, I'm going to show you the steps. And it's going to get a little bit messy, perhaps, but we'll try to explain it as we go through. Let's go 84 times 30. Well, remember that I always start with my 1's place value number on the bottom number, and I'm going to multiply it by the 1's there, and then I'm going to multiply it by the 10's. Excellent. And then what I do after that is I go to my 10's place value, and I'm going to multiply that by the 1's, and then I'm going to multiply that number by, that's right, by the tens. So there's several steps, and you can see how that gets a little messy. But I'll try and make this clear again. All right, I'm going to write this down for you. Here we go. All right. 84 times 30. So step one is I'm starting with my ones place value and I'm going to multiply it by my 1's place value up here. So 0 times 4 is 0. That's easy. And then I'm going to multiply my 1's place value number on the bottom by the 10's up top, because I already multiplied it by the 1's. And 0 times 8 is 0. Good. And now I'm done with that number, that 0. So I'm moving over to my tens place value, which is a 3. And since I'm moving over to my tens, I'm going to put in a 0 here in the ones, because anything multiplied by 10 should always have a 0 at the end. All right, my first step will be to go 3 times 4, which is 12. So I'm going to put a 2 here, and I carry the 1. My second step will be to go 3 times 8, and that's 24, plus the 1 is 25. Now I add this together, and I get my answer of 2,520. All right, good luck with that, boys and girls.